What's what up guys? Up? Welcome to the new Rockcom vlog and today is the part 3 of our race vlog from drift to race. We're gonna pimp that RC390 once again and we have some old tires still on it and Avon tires saw our vlogs and they said they have some special tires for us that gonna drastically change the lap times. I'm really curious what are those tires but before we go to my workshop and replace them let's have some fun with the old ones. My god man broke my rear brake so that means it will be quite hard to drift so i cannot lock my rear tire but i still have one brake left what means we still can burn tires right for sure let's have some more fun Tire's done, we popped it. I'm full of rubber. <laughs> okay, Dominic, tire is done. No, you can definitely not ride anymore. True. The only thing that was missing was fire <laughs> that I wanted to add. But uh, okay, fun is over for now. So let's go to the workshop and let's check out the new tires. Cool. Back in the garage, we transported, we have a special system here. Like, uh, what's that movie? Not Star Wars, Star Trek, Star right? Trek. <laughs> Man, that was so much fun, uh, exploding the tire. No, it was scary. All, all the parts flew in me. <laughs> nothing, nothing dropped in the pants. No. Okay, luckily. Uh, yeah, usually I don't really pop the tires because all the threads in the tire really then destroy the whole plastic and so on. But I need to do it uh, for myself this time. So the goal for this vlog series, uh, it's actually to improve the lap times. On the first part, we remove the parts. On the second one, we put the race suspension on and now I need to transmit this power from the bike also to the road so I'm sticking to the road so the suspension is working very very good but last time I felt that I'm slipping away in the corners and my tire front tires is always on the limit since it's like five six years old tire so it, I definitely need some new tires so even send us those tires they're very very soft my fingernail is like almost puncturing through so anyway so those are the Avon 3D Ultra Extreme and Avon recommends them for the racetrack use uh, and also for the racetrack that needs street legal tires which means that you can actually ride those tires on the streets but I would say that you would not make a lot of mileage with those for those they have some others like I have on my Razan let's go check them what I have on my other bike so for example, for my Razant, which is my street bike, the Duke 390, I'm using a different tire. But they look the same. They actually are very similar, even the name. So those are called 3D Ultra Sport and the other ones that I'm gonna use on the racetrack are 3D Ultra Extreme. And the difference is this one has more uh, tread, so it performs better in wet conditions if the rain is catching you. The, yeah, it isn't so soft as, as the race tires, which is logical. So which means that you can do more mileage with those tires so this is the tire that I'm using for my street bike and let's go check what I use on my stunt bike so on my 690 Duke and other stunt bikes I'm using the 3d storm tire and also other stunt riders we prefer to use the sport touring tires and that's also one sport touring tire it has a 3d compound which means it's harder on the middle softer on the side so I have enough grip when I'm drifting and which is important is that it has a constant grip when the tire is overheating and after many months of testing since Avon is my new sponsor they have so many options I test 
has a different tires and this one I really find uh, good on my stunt bikes. It's still the first tire. I didn't destroy this tire on the 690 Duke because it's really hard on the on the middle, which means you can do a lot of mileage on the if you use it on your road bikes. And I can do a lot of burnouts with my stunt bike. So uh, yeah, I'm using the 3D Storm tire on my stunt bikes. I really love that tire. And even if I do some shows in uh, wet conditions, which I had this season a lot, uh, it really proved that it's a uh, really an amazing tire for for stunt riding enough of talking Let's go now mount the tire on my RC 390 Tire dismounted in a few seconds you see guys very easy <laughs> if you know how to edit videos <laughs> uh, Yeah, so we have the new tire here and yeah, I just remember Dominic. Can you speak Russian? No, just vodka and... You can drink vodka, but <laughs> not speak Russian, right? Yeah, because a lot of people think that we are from Slovenia, we speak Russian. Anyway, uh, what I want to say is actually a huge thanks to all the rockers that are uh, translating our vlogs. And with that, you are helping people around the world to actually understand what we are saying in our vlogs. So we just got a, also a huge update on the Russian subtitles. Thanks to Nikolai from Ukraine and and he was the guy that translated all the vlogs. So if you want to translate our vlog in your language, you can find the link in the description and you just click on it and it's a very easy system how to translate that vlog. And I really appreciate it if you would do it. So yeah, more people can uh, watch then our rock on vlogs. So let's continue with the mounting of the tire. tire is mounted it's very difficult to put this tire on the rim because it's so soft and yeah does anybody have some ideas or some tips how to mount a racing tire we try with a spray with a brake cleaner and to with a fire so it explodes but it didn't really work so we went to the local tire shop and uh, they helped us to mount the tire anyway uh, Dominic yeah. That tire feels very very soft, so that means it's gonna give me a lot of grip. What do you say? Let's have a bet. The time that we need to beat is 52.4 seconds. What's your bet? 51.3. How many seconds? 51.7. I would go for one second uh, better time with that tire. Okay, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> let's mount the tire. Rear tire is done. Let's turn the bike and let's change the front one. Pow! Oh! Bike is finished, tires are on. Man, I'm looking forward now to go all in. So, like Valentino Rossi or better said Marquez. And another thing I have, it's a news for my Italian fans. I'm gonna be on 9th of November on the biggest motorcycle in the exhibition in the world, ECMA, which is held in the city Milano. And we will be there, we will have a meet and greet on my sponsor's boots. Boot? Boot. Not the boots, but the, the place where the sponsors are. <laughs> so I will be at also at my gear sponsor, Makna, and we will have really nice posters there. So guys, 9th of November, I'm waiting for you there, and let's meet us, and more information about it, you can find on my Instagram account somewhere here. So I'm gonna drop on my stories uh, exactly the times and the schedule where and uh, at what time I will be at uh, Expo. And beside that, uh, even more important news, guys, I cannot believe, Dominic, you can't believe that? You know what I want to say? Do you, you okay. don't know yet, right? I Did Marco no tell you? It's or? maybe because of this? Oh, no, that's that's another big secret coming in a few weeks. Just secret. Uh, let's say two weeks, actually. We have a lot of secrets. We, we've been working hard for the last weeks. Uh, after nine years, guys, exactly nine years, we are coming to India. 
in December. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you yet which event and which city and what date, but in December we are coming to India and we're gonna do a big show there, meet the Dukers and some local uh, vloggers and so on. So we have a lot in planning, so it will be a huge one. So I am super excited. Dominic, where is your ex ex excitement? I'm sick. How is I'm, I'm happy inside. <laughs> You're happy inside? Yeah, both me and Dominic have a huge uh, high fever. The, yeah, we don't feel very, very good today. So we are super excited to come finally, finally, finally. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm gonna keep you posted on my Instagram account. Uh, okay, enough of talking. Let's go to the racetrack. Okay, tire pressure is set. My friends told me uh, that if I race, I should go with the pressure uh, down. So I'm using about one bar on the back, 1.5 on the front, which is totally different than in my stunt riding. So on stunt bikes, I use 4.0 on the back, which is extremely hard. So here is like extremely soft to get more grip on the turns and so on. So before we go to hit the track and try to beat the time, let's warm up and I'm gonna do some tricks also with the RC. Let's go. Okay, Dominic, ready? Okay, yeah, man. Okay. Okay, good start, let's go. Four, fifth, sixth. Okay, into the brake heater. Second gear, good lean. Oh my God, those, those tires are gripping. Woo -hoo. minor mistakes I really don't have a feeling if the time was already better or not I'm not sure I'm not sure I didn't feel much faster what Dominic is already showing that it's much better okay did we beat 52.4 51.65 almost one second okay let's do round two yeah Good start, full throttle section, into the brake heater, braking hard, S small stoppy on the way, okay good lean, good lean, throttle, 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 yes, yeah too late, okay. On my ribby section, come on, my ribby! Woo -hoo. Yes! Okay, go, 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 go! Woo! That felt a bit faster. Let's see if I'm right. Man, but. 0.7 seconds on the first round, that's a huge improvement already. So that really shows that the tire make a big, big difference. What do you say? Better? No way. 51.1, oh my god. I think I can beat this 0.16 seconds. Man, that's a huge improvement. More than, more than one second already. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, round three, the last one. Renato, you ready? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Last round, let's go. Woo 
and adrenaline is okay. Okay, late on the brakes, good. Lean, 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 lean. Good, 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 good. Nice. Okay. Here I did a mistake before. Perfect, everything went perfect. Okay. Okay, Mariba section. Done. Piff puff. Ah. Okay, here now the last one. Go, 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 go. I can do it. Oh, I think I beat 51. That's what my feeling tells me. I don't have a speedometer. So I really need to feel the speed and if there was a difference but I think I went faster Okay, don't make doesn't show any signs What? Slower? Or this one was the middle one I was really slower? Oh my god, okay I feel faster I, fe I felt a bit faster than before but uh, as the clock says not no, the 51.16 was amazing. Okay, that shows that the proper tire makes a big, huge difference, definitely. Such a sick day. Actually, literally sick. I feel super sick. <laughs> and the tires are sick. I mean, I feel sick in a bad way. I have a high fever, so it wasn't really the, the most comfortable, let's put it that way, the most comfortable day for me. But we improved one and a half seconds, something like this. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but one and a freaking half seconds, guys. That's huge. They're still super hot and uh, yeah, they're getting the heat very quick. So I didn't need like a lot of laps to heat them up. Like I would say like, after three, four laps, I was ready to go wide open and I really felt how they work in the corners. So because they are softer and also the tire pressure is uh, lower. So I really feel how much, how, it's hard to explain, but it's like I would feel how much surface is actually uh, holding the grip on the, on the tarmac. Really amazing tire. Now I am ready to really push hard on the here on this local racetrack in Lindau, Lindau Ring. Thanks to the guys to always letting us to ride here, definitely. So if you wanna come here, you are, everybody is invited. It's open for everybody. Dominic, what you say? Cool, right? Really cool. That's our last race vlog of this season because it's getting really cold. And today is actually sunny, so we had about 18 degrees. But yeah, now it's getting very cold. And yeah, we need to stop before I crash with the bike. Okay guys, I would say that's enough for today, right Dominic? Yeah, it's getting dark. It's getting dark, so I hope you like the vlog this time and I hope you like our series. Let us know what we should add in this kind of race vlogs because the RC390 is not my only bike that I want to try here on the racetrack. So let me know in the comments below which bike of, from KTM I should test on this track to see how fast it is. So let me know, I'm really curious which bike you would like to see. I hope you will share this vlog on your social media because uh, more clicks we get uh, the longer we can do it thank you guys for supporting see you in the next vlog be ready it will be an epic one until then rock, rock on, on.